right, hey everybody, welcome in. We got a good one here for us today. Uh, we're making this drill bit holder. Um, this is a part of PLTW, I think 1.3.4, something like that. We're gonna be learning a bunch of new tools and uh, culminating here with the making a shell. So you can see that this is uh, created using injection molding where we have a mold uh, and then we inject liquid molten plastic in there, rubber perhaps. Uh, and then you know uh, make it whatever shape we want and this is about the shape we're gonna go with you can see we've got spaces to hold our drill bits here on the side uh, this is the technical drawing some things that we're gonna be learning here let's see actually I exported this as a PDF it looks a little nicer here um, so uh, this is something where you have some design control so you don't have to be you know you don't have to use any um, special dimensions we're going to make the base about four inches in length, you know, from one side to the point of the other side of the Pentagon there. Approximately, you can see four inches. And we're going to be using two new tools here to do that. We're going to be doing a loft and a tapered extrusion. So we're going to learn how to use those tools. And then I am basically going to let you make this part using those tools. So here we go. Let's get into it now. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I think we got a blank one here Let's go ahead and start a sketch here in the top plane and uh, let's look at the top here and I recommend Of course using that center point whenever you start a sketch and we're gonna go ahead and start with the uh, inscribe polygon tool and There we go. We'll set it and Make it a pentagon. So there we go. We've got it 5x which is perfect Let's go ahead and add the horizontal constraint on there. And then let's dimension this. And maybe that's a little too big. Let's try 3.9 since it's gonna be a little bit bigger uh, than that since that's the inscribed circle, the uh, circumscribed pentagon. Again, I think these tools might be might be backwards. So anyways, okay, uh, here we go onwards and forwards. Let's see, we're going to extrude this, but we're gonna change up something a little bit here. So normally, we extrude this uh, straight up and down. Now we're going to do what's called a tapered extrusion. And we're gonna click this draft button right here. And you can see this is going to bring up a angle measure right here that we can control. So let's try typing in like 40 degrees you can see what happens, right? Now that looks, you know, that's about what we want, except it's going the wrong direction. We're gonna angle it in like that. And actually, I think that's a little too tall for what we need. Um, so we're going to go ahead and shrink this down a little bit. Let's make this mm, 0.4. Okay, so there we go. So that looks about right. Let's go ahead and click the green check mark. And again, this could kind of, you could kind of make it your own. This looks about right for the base of it, right? We've got a tapered base here. All right, now we're gonna do another tapered extrusion, a longer one here. And again, we're gonna draft, but this time we're gonna do a bit less, like a 0.5 or so. Um, a 0.5, that sounds about right. Uh, and let's see, let's make that go in, inwards. I think that's better, that is going inwards. Okay, so there we go. And again, um, I'm not uh, <clears throat> make it your own. So here we go. Let's do our loft now. So here we have our pentagonal base, and we're going to um, a loft is basically like a a, a combination of two shapes, right? It kind of molds together a pentagon and a circle. So let's check it out. Um, what I'm gonna do is use this plane tool right here. And again, you can always search up plane if you're not finding it on your screen. And there we go. We're going to use the offset plane. You can see there are a bunch of different types of planes, or not types of planes, it's only one type of plane, but ways to place a plane. So anyways, in this case, we'll just choose the basic offset plane. We'll click on this top surface and we'll set the plane right there of course adjusting the distance 1.5 and again this is not really what you want to do to make it but this will show you how to use the loft tool so there we go now we have this plane sort of hovering above the figure so we're going to start a sketch on that plane by clicking on 
the uh, the edge of the sketch there and then we'll go back to the top and uh, we'll go ahead and draw us a circle and we'll make this exactly an inscribed circle right there okay and now we will use the loft tool to loft in between the circle and the pentagon so here we go I believe no nope, that's sweep this one is loft again you can always search it up and you just simply click on the first one and the second one and you can actually loft you can you could continue stacking planes up and drawing shapes and loft and you can get some pretty cool intricate kind of geometric shapes you can rotate things and it, it looks cool anyways uh, this is what we really need to do for this one let's go ahead and click check mark okay and that that should be about enough to get you going on this Again, let's look at what it's going to look at at the end of it here. You are going to want to have one loft and one, two, three, four tapered extrusions. Then at the top, you are going to want to cut five holes in a circular pattern and one larger hole right there in the center. Um, <clears throat> so I think that's probably enough for you to be able to build a part. I think that's probably good. So I think I'm gonna end the video there. Again, I'll put this PDF on um, Canvas for everyone to look at. And, um, or you can just pause the screen, look at it here, zoom in a little bit. You get, you get what it looks like. Anyway, so thanks for watching. Good luck, have fun.